Welcome to an example on how to solve a linear equation in one variable with variable terms on both sides of the equation. As we go through the solution process though, it's important to remember we will be creating equivalent equations and therefore whatever operation we perform on one side of the equation, we must also perform on the other. The first step is to simplify each side of the equation by clearing parentheses and combining like terms, but for this equation, the left side and right side don't simplify, and therefore, we move to step two. Step two, we add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Again, notice how we have an n term on the left side and an n term on the right. Let's work on isolating the variable term on the left side of the equation. So if we look at the right side of the equation, we need to add or subtract to undo the positive three n term, and therefore, the first step is to subtract 3n on both sides of the equation. And notice how I wrote the minus 3n directly under the n terms. Simplifying the left side of the equation now, we have 12, and then 7n minus 3n is 4n. The left side simplifies to 12 plus 4n equals, on the right side, 3n minus 3n is zero, which is the reason why we subtracted 3n on both sides of the equation the right side is now just negative 26. So this equation is equivalent to the original equation, but now the variable term is only on the left side of the equation. But we are still not done with step two. We still need to isolate the variable term on the left side of the equation, which now means we need to undo this positive 12. To undo positive 12, we subtract 12. The next step is to subtract 12 on both sides of the equation. And now we simplify again. 12 minus 12 is zero. The left side of the equation simplifies to 4n. 4n equals negative 26 minus 12 is equal to negative 38. And once again, this equation is equivalent to the original equation because to create this equation, we always perform the same operation to both sides of the equation. And now moving to step three, we multiply or divide to isolate the variable. And because 4n means 4 times n, to undo this multiplication and solve for n, we divide both sides by 4. Simplifying on the left side, 4 divided by 4 simplifies the 1. 1 times n is n. n equals negative 38 fourths. And once again, this is an equivalent equation to the original equation, but because it's solved for n, it also gives us the solution. But negative 38 fourths does simplify. The greatest common factor between 38 and four is two. To simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by two. And because negative 38 divided by two is negative 19, and four divided by two is two, our final solution is n equals negative 19 halves. Now let's verify our solution is correct by making sure it satisfies the original equation. To do this, we will substitute negative 19 halves for n, and then evaluate the expression on the left and the expression on the right to make sure they're equal or have the same value. So performing the substitution, we have 12 plus seven times n, which is negative 19 halves, equals three times n, which is negative 19 halves, minus 26. Let's evaluate both sides of the equation on the calculator. Let's evaluate the left side first. We have 12 plus seven times negative 19 halves. Enter. We have negative 54.5. Let's also convert this to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter, which gives us negative 109 halves. And now let's evaluate the expression on the right side of the equation to make sure it's also equal to negative 109 halves or negative 54.5. The right side is three times negative 19 halves minus 26. Enter. Once again for the fraction, we press math, enter, enter. So the expression on the left and on the right are both equal to negative 109 halves, which verifies our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.